brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Pastor Douglas Neal of the Cathedral of and Faith Church of Healing Place in Winsboro, Louisiana. Inviting you to come out fellowship with us uh, every Sunday, 11 o'clock. If you're looking for a move of God, God is truly moving by Spirit. Miracles, healings, deliverance taking place in the house of God every Sunday. Come out and witness God for yourself and be blessed. Hello, I'm Lady Sharon Neal of the Cathedral of Loving Faith Church. We would like to invite you out to our praise and worship service at 11 o'clock a.m. every Sunday morning. Come out and be blessed. A church alive is worth the drive.
Amen. Just seemed like I can see Jesus hanging on that cross. Yeah. Amen. God hanging on the cross. Glory to God. He didn't want to do it. But he did it anyway. He did it because of the love. Somebody said he did it because he loved us. Amen. They hung him high. And they stretched him wide. He hung his head and then he died. Oh, give to God. Who would give their life? Amen. For another. Amen. Perhaps for a good man, one might think about giving their life. Amen. But God, while we were yet sons, gave his life. My Lord, my God. Father God, we come again today. In the name of Jesus, thank you for another blessed day that you have made. And oh God, as I decrease, may Christ increase. Lord, give that fresh heart to minister your word to you. Let your word be like good seed. Going into the heart of the people and bring them forth good fruits for your glory. Somebody say it in Jesus' name. Yes, it's in Jesus' name. It's all about Jesus. All about Jesus. Glory be to God. I'm just so happy to see everybody here today. Let's get us quiet, baby. So you always give it a quiet big hand kind of praise, a big hand kept clap of praise. What about my husband? Let's get my husband. Somebody got to see. 
So the big thing of me, he wants to apply on my knees, so I'm still walking in knees. Don't miss the picture somewhere. Glory be to God. Because the sister just sang a song about he went to Calvary. Yeah, yeah. He died on Calvary. And hung him high and expressed him right on Calvary so that I could, amen, have my needs met. Yeah. Have every need met. And glory to God. You know, we believe that Jesus died so that we could be saved. And that we could be set free. And I thank God for salvation. But glory to God, it's more included in me being saved and going to hell. Amen. Amen. And Apostle Peter, he writing to us today. Amen. He was writing years ago for the church today. Amen. And letting the church know. He said to those of lack precious faith. Yeah, he talking about the church today. Glory to God. Jesus said he was going away. But he said his body was going to stay here. Amen. Amen. He told Peter, he said, now when this rock, I'm going to I'm going to be in my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. And he was talking about this body of Christ for the believers who believed he went to Calvary. That he died on Calvary. And he shed his blood on Calvary for our sins and the sins of the world. Somebody said it was some grace. Yeah, grace, that's who Jesus is, his grace. It's by God's grace that we're here today. It's by God's grace that we're saved. And it's by God's grace that we have what we already need. Amen. He, 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 he said that in him all of our needs are met. Glory be to God. Yeah, he tell us that uh, he got great and precious promises for us. Amen. He got great and precious promises. When we come into Christ as it, our Lord and our person Savior, the scripture tells us in, in, in 2 Corinthians 5 17, he said, Be the man, be in Christ. We will come out. We we'll become a new creature. Old things passed away. Somebody said, do them without. It passed away. He said, now all things become new. Yes, Romans 5 said that through Jesus Christ, we now got access to this abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness in Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. We have become in right standing today through Jesus Christ. All of his promises now belongs to us. Glory be to God. When I think about the 23rd Psalm, what the Lord telling us, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. And I said, not wrong. Glory be to God. We're going we to go to the Lord in boldness. We can go to him in boldness knowing that we are in right standing with God. Because of this amazing grace that he had poured out upon us. Because he took all sins to carry on the cross. And hung on, on the cross. Now all we have to do is this, uh, 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 1 John 1 and 9 say, if we confess our sins, that God is faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. Romans 8 and 1 say, therefore, now there is no condemnation to those who are in it. Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, somebody. That's a good name. Amen. Come on, sin has been keeping us away from Jesus Christ. Amen. But God took away the sin. Amen. When we come in Christ, all we got to do now is confess our sins. Amen. And the scriptures say God is faithful Amen. to forgive us our sins. Amen. Cleanse 
what's called unrighteous. Now we're back right with God and we can go to the Father and tell him what's on our mind. We can call upon him. Jeremiah 33 3 say, God said, now you can stand in my presence. And he said, call upon me. And he said, I'll answer you. And I'll show you great mighty things. And you know the lie. You might even got a bad report for the doctor. And you might have had sin in your life. But Lord to God, the Bible says that if you have confessed those sins, you can go to God and stand right before him and say, Lord, I got the devil, he's coming against my body with sickness and disease. Lord Jesus, take this sin away. Take this sickness away. And the Bible says he faithfully does to forgive you. And he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Oh, he's a good God. And he's ready to be praised. Oh, he got good and precious promises for those church. But we have to access these promises by faith. We access them by faith. He gave them to us, but they just don't come. You got to, you got to appropriate them by faith. You have to use your faith. He'll supply your needs, but you got to use your faith. The Bible says, just shall live by faith. Faith is how we live. Yeah, the scripture says we walk by faith and not by sight. We call those things that be not as though they were. Come on. If you ain't got a dime in your pocket, you know what you ought to be hollering about? I'm rich. Glory be to God. I got all things. Scripture says you got access to all things. You need to be confessing that all the riches are in my heart. Glory be to God. You might be, you might be going through something. The enemy might be attacking you. Because the devil, the devil is about his beast. Amen. Amen. There was there was some boys, and they said the boys said, well, that old Deacon Drum said he ain't never got nothing bad to say about nobody. Say, well, let's see what he got to say about the devil. And said, they say, Deacon John, what do you think about the devil? And he thought, and then he said, one thing I can say, he always bought the beast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he always doing something. Amen. But listen, the scripture tells us that in this life, you're going to have some trials. Just because you're born again. Amen. Just because you got saved. Don't mean that the devil going to leave you alone. That's when the devil going to come out. See, before you got saved, he didn't have it. So he left you alone. That's why many times people say, don't look like I have this hard of a time. Till I try to get right. Amen. That's why the enemy, he be, he be coming at you like a, like a rolling lion. Trying to see who, who, he, who he can devour. But that's when you got to hold on to God. That's when you got to get down on your knees and pray. That's when you got to call on him. Amen. That's, why, that, that, that's when you got to be in church. Amen. Because the Bible says that if we submit to God, we can resist the devil. That's a promise. And he got to flee from you. Amen. That's come along with you being in Christ. Amen. But you got to just believe it in faith. The scriptures say, even if you're going through some trials, and you're going through some tribulations, and you're going through some hard times, guess what? Trouble don't last all the way. Yeah, trouble don't last all the way. And then Jesus said that you can count it all joy. You know, every trial I've been through, every tribulation I've been through, 
when I made it through and I look back over my life, I can count it all, Joe. I can count it all because I don't know about a stop in this life. It gives me a little bit of hope. But when the devil come back and try to attack me another, another day and another time with the same old trick, I ask me, you ain't got nothing new. And when we in Christ, oh, he said he has overcome. He has overcome all these trials. He has come on, overcome all these tribulations. He has overcome all these diseases. He has come up, overcome all these attacks that the devil come up against you with. And if you would have accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior, you in him. And he in you. He said you will buy. And my word abides in you. He said, You can ask whatever you want. And he'll do it for you. Amen. That's the kind of God he is. But you got to have faith. Amen. He has promised us great and precious promises. People, people say, people call it lack precious faith. Your faith is precious to Holy Ghost said, your faith is precious. That's what the Bible tells you. He said, sometimes in this life, when you go through your struggle, when your children ain't acting right, and your bodies ain't acting right, but ain't nobody acting right, glory be to God. Jesus is going to be with you. Yeah, he's going to be with you. He's going to be with you. And you're going to have to fight. Come on, somebody. Somebody say it's a good fight because we already got it. You already got what you're fighting for. Come on. You already got it. You're healing. Jesus got it 2,000 years ago. Come on, somebody. Isaiah 53 and 4 say, surely, surely, he has borne our roots and carried our sorrows. Talking about our sickness and disease. Our pain. When he went to that cross, when he hung out, our grief. And listen, he cleaves us, he says, a time to cry. A time of night. That's a time to mourn. And a time to be happy. It's a time for everything. Amen. But listen, we don't want to let the enemy just grieve us. We don't want to let him just grieve us. The scripture says, surely he has come to Jesus. On our griefs and carried our sorrows. So if he bore them and he carried them, what's the use of us bowing for? Amen. Amen. What's the use of me carrying for? Jesus already took it away. Amen. Amen. I just need to walk in my healing. It said he was wounded for our transgressions. Amen. The chastisement of our peace. You know, and I see so many people depressed. The devil just just depressing people. And he oppressing people. But listen, we don't have to care that no more. Glory be to God. So that Jesus cared. I, 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 and I know he did. Amen. Amen. I might not have been there 2,000 years ago. But the Holy Ghost let me know him, he cared. And it was real, and he died. And he rose again. With victory over sickness and disease, and poverty, and bad luck, in, in everything that the devil can come up against us with. He had borne our griefs, carried our sorrow. And it said, the just times when our peace was upon him, and by his grace, we're healed. Amen. 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 Somebody say, you got to take it by faith. Oh, I 
fear my help. Amen. I fear my help, Lord. You got to have faith in this, in these promises. The scriptures say, but it says it's impossible to please God without faith. James 1 says, when you come to him and you ask him, you got to ask him faith. Not doubt. You, you can't be doubt if you're going to do it or if you might not do it. He said, you can't be worried about it for Believe in one day you won't do it the next time you ain't going to do it. Because he said, they're like, a, 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 they're like waves in the ocean. Amen. Amen. Scripture. And, 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 and a, a, a double minded man is unsafe. Something wrong with you. In all this way, when you got faith, when you walk by faith, not by sight, you start calling on something that be not in front of the world. Glory be to God. We don't go by what we see. We don't go by how we feel. But we go by what the word says. What the word tells us. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Scripture tells us. He said, have faith in God. Yeah, have faith in God. Look. In 1 John. 1 John 5. And 14. Yeah, God held great and precious promise in His Word that He had given us now. He had promised us to take care of us, He had promised us to be our healer, be a doctor for us, He had promised not to never leave you. Not ever forsake you. Amen. He had promised that if you ask anything in Jesus' name, He'll do it for you. Now look at 1 John 1 and 14. Glory be to God. He said, And this is the confidence that we have in Jesus, in Him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he or he us. Oh Lord, thank you. Amen. Oh Lord, I thank you. Amen. And if we know that he hears us, come on now. But forever we ask, glory to God. We know we don't think. We know that we have the petitions of the prayer that we desire of him. And his will, listen, his will is his word. Glory oh, be to God, if it's in his word, it's his will. And his will said that all we got to do is ask him what his word is saying. And God said in Isaiah, he said, I watch over my word. I watch over the word that there is full of my mind. That, that to make sure that I do the thing that they're supposed to do. And the boy that go forth out of my mouth, he said, and will not return until him boy, until it's going to accomplish the thing that he said it out to do. We're going to have confidence. We can have confidence. If you're in Christ, if everything in Christ, if you don't accept the word he did on the cross, if you believe he got up there, there he goes. And he rose from the dead with not some power, but he got up with all power. Not some power, but he got up with all power. Oh, Thank you. Oh, that's the comfort I have in him. I know he's able. Come on, come on, say, I know it. My God. Say, my God is able. He's able to do it singly. Above all that I can even ask him for. Or even find ask him for. My God is able to get me that job.
strong in faith. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that your God comes to yeah. yeah, he said that he who come, he gonna come. Yeah. You just keep the faith. Yeah. You just keep confessing what the word says. Yeah. You just keep on standing on the word. Yeah. Let's keep on losing your faith. From which cometh my help? All of my help coming from the Lord. Oh, He's a good God today. He's a good God today. He's a good God today. Today and forevermore. He has my change. Saying, God working miracles today. We got miracles all around. Glory be to God. Cause he who come, he gonna come. Though he tarry, he gonna come. Amen. 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 And he gonna perform the promise that you that you're waiting on. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give my hand up. Come on, You got to be a child of Almighty God. And listen, it's easy to become a child of Almighty God. The scripture says, if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, thou shalt be saved. Amen. And if there's anybody in here today that don't know whether you're saved or not, today is your day. You want to be saved today. You want to know, know for sure. You got doubts. We're here to pray with you today. We're here to give you a blessing of sure so that you leave here today known for sure. I got saved today. If Jesus want to come back today, I'm saved. And then not just for the saved. That you, that, that, that you have an everlasting, everlasting salvation, but just to know that you in Christ and all the promises of God belong to you now. Amen. Deliverance belongs to you. Prosperity belongs to you. Whatever you need, it belongs to you in Christ. Amen. Somebody today, you might need prayer.